Before anything, you should make your sensitivity lower. Between 800 dpi and 4 to 12 sensitivity is a good range for the most precision to speed ratio. So my first tip is to hop into creative and try to play at least 30 minutes of this every day. And after that, at least 30 minutes in battle royales almost every day. The main thing is consistency if you want to improve. It's better to play an hour and day than eight hours every Saturday. And so the first tip is that I suggest queuing for 2v2 box fights or realistic fights. This will improve your aim and editing exponentially. You get into fights endlessly and this will make your consistency and confidence improve. Doing box fights consistently is really good to practice editing. Almost always the person who has the wall will win in a box fight because most of the time you can't escape. You should have a plan to mainly focus on what you want to improve and create it. So for example, if you want to improve your edits, focus on that. You can learn a lot from box fights, but focusing on crosshair placement is especially important. Look at FaZe Matas. How does he make almost every shot a headshot? Crosshair placement. Aiming your crosshair at head level makes it faster and easier to adjust. Most of the time, you're building, but once you get your opponent boxed up, aim at head level. Keep reminding yourself this as this is one of the most important tips for aiming well. I also like Finest Realistic because it also improves your edits and aim. But not only does it improve your edits and aim, it also improves your game sense. It also has RNG, so it will make you have to try to move closer or farther to your opponent. Kind of like in a real battle royale match, making your game sense better. Also going into BHE build fights is a good routine. We spawn within 2 seconds and you can practice with any gun that spawns. You can also try aim training maps like these. They mainly help with aim, but I really don't like these because it doesn't mimic realistic scenarios. Either you're moving and the bots aren't, or the bots are moving and you aren't. In a real scenario, you and your opponent are moving and building at the same time. So I would spend more time on bucks fights as well as build fights instead. Unless you are on a new sense or new to the game, I would avoid Kovax and aim lab as well. I would also just free build on your island. Search up the best builds or low materials. What's the point of building so much if you can build the same height and speed with half the materials? I'd like to try to focus mainly on taking control of walls and peace control more than the high ground. I know that the high ground is way better, but most of the time you're gonna drop down anyways. And the person with better peace control and edits would definitely come out alive in that scenario. So what do you do after 30 minutes in create? Let's talk about BR and arena now. I would suggest playing arena as much as possible. Most players are playing at their best in arena, so it's good competitive practice. Go in, drop in a hotspot, and find kills. I know it's tempting to camp and get placement points, but I guarantee that you will improve faster doing this than camping. Get familiar with the map. You also quickly learn about your mistakes. What you want to do is every time you die, Look for a consistent reason why. If your aim or edits are bad, go in creative and work on it. If you still don't know why, think of why you pushed that player. If it was a 50-50, try to avoid those. If a player pushed you, how did they win? Better loot? 50-50? If they had better loot, you should have backed off or played closer. For example, if you have a gold scar and a green tag, play far with the scar and try to position yourself to the high ground. If you have a gold pump and full shield, don't be afraid to rush them. At that point, it's not only a 50-50. If you have good aim as well as confidence, you're less likely to get nervous and choke a gunfight. Which leads to my next point. To not choke or get nervous, you have to get more confident in your shot. Also, don't worry about arena points. They reset each season, and if your skill goes up, your points will go up. And that will, in turn, lead you to be more confident because you're not worrying about every gunfight you take, making you less nervous. If you're camping on game and don't get experience, guess what? Eventually, you will reach a cap, and what's the point of playing against good players if you have no chance? That would be less fun later on as well, and make it way harder to improve. Playing against your skill level is great, because you can think about what you would do in that situation if you were the enemy. My next tip is to get more experience. Over time, you will be put into more and more scenarios. If you won, think about why you won. If you lost, think about why. So for example, if you're on the edge of the circle and an animal of a player rushes you, when the circle is halfway across the map, even before taking the fight, you should have looked for an escape plan. If you don't have one, don't panic. A lot of people panic when they're in the storm. If you have heals, wait for him to rush you. If you don't, you're gonna have to take the 50-50. Most players would just say that this guy's an animal and that it's just luck that he won the fight. If you escaped or waited because you had heals, you could have upped your chances. Yes, there will be games where you lose to a bad player because of RNG, but most of the time, 
it's your game sense and aim that causes you to lose your fight. Also, if you master game sense but you have no aim, what's the point? If you have really good aim and the guy still boxes you up and outplays you, you have to get into more scenarios and review your gameplay more. In my opinion, experience is a main way to get better. You can't improve unless you're consistently playing and looking at how you lose or win fights. Most people watch these tips videos and don't implement the tips because they're lazy or just don't want to change. Changing is really hard, especially in games, but once you do, it's easy to learn new things. My next tip has to do with positioning. This goes hand in hand with the game sense. So what you want to do is position yourself outside where you think most players are fighting. So if you're in the middle of the map, it's a good area because most people are fighting to get into circle and you can just third party or laser them. If you're sandwiched on the end game, use Uto or try to build behind someone else. Don't be scared to rotate early as well because after the zone moves in, many would be fighting and again, you can just laser them in third party. Players hate third parties, but don't ask themselves why am I always the one getting in between players. Positioning could also mean high, mid, and low ground. Try to position yourself in low or high ground. If you're always in the middle, it's easy to shoot at you. Also, if you're on the high ground, always be aware of your surroundings. People will try to break you down or build up to height. You want to stay in this position while doing chip damage to everyone. I know it's tempting to drop down and get that free kill, but if you really want to win, you have to be patient. If you're on the low ground, take 1v1 separately and try to incorporate your aim from the floor. The low ground is really similar to a box fight scenario, and you should already be good at those by now. So my next tip to improve is by looking at pro players, but not for entertainment or to get tips. Many try to learn from players by just watching them, but most aren't efficient. Yes, you can write down that Mongrel has good aim, but is that really going to help you? No. What you want to write down is how they position, what fights they take, and how they play with their surroundings. So for example, if Cypher PK stays on height, note down why. Maybe it's because most people are fighting on the low ground. Maybe it's because he's trying to peek people coming from zone. If he runs away from a fight even though he did 50 damage to a player, note down why. He might not have time to take it due to the zone or he's not in a good position because there's someone high ground that could third party the fight. Think about their decisions in detail, not about what builds they do or what fancy edits they make. The next way to improve, and this is a big one, is to focus on your mental state. If you're sleep deprived or having a bad day, chances are you're going to lose fights much easier than on your best days. Always take breaks, eat good, sleep good, and exercise. I would recommend warming up before battle royale. If your aim is rough on the first match, take a break. This could be especially tilting because you just lost while having a bad day, making you not want to play even more. And yet most players continue to play, even in arena. I recommend playing a few games that you are confident that you would do good in, and avoid playing when you're feeling bad. This will make you less tilted when you die in a match multiple times. Once you lose that first match, it all goes downhill. You'll start blaming the game, RNG, your team, etc. Walking outside for at least 10 minutes could re reset your mind, as well as make you less tilted and less angry when you lose a game, and making it easier to blame yourself and analyze what you did wrong. This will make you try to improve at what happened quicker. So in conclusion, practice your builds in box fights and realistic fights and create it for at least 30 minutes a day and focus on peace control and crosshair plays. Going arena when you're in a good mood and warmed up. Play as much as you can and get as much experience as possible. Take breaks between games if you feel like quitting or on a losing streak. Focus on positioning and take good fights in games. And finally, analyze and improve your game. And Bob review pro player games.